Hey everybody, it's Gary the Google Guy here, and I'd like to give you a new update that has been recently added to Google Drive. Now you may notice if you look in the upper left corner of your screen, you will see now a new priority addition to your left side navigation. If you go to priority, it's a brand new workspace that Google has added, allowing you to kind of prioritize things, files that you're currently working on, quick access to your folders that you're quick currently working on, and so on. So what do we have? At the very top, we have some different files that Google's guessing with their AI that you may be interested in creating a workspace with. If you would like to, you can add them from here. First, let's create a workspace. Let's go down below. And you'll see in the middle of my screen, it gives me the option to create a workspace. So let's click on that. And let's go ahead and we'll do training class development and create. You'll see it pops up a window where I can now start adding files quickly. We'll click on that and let's just add some different things. And how about if we just go to my drive and I can find all of my different files from here. I can access anything that I've recently looked at. So let's say we want to look at our slide deck here and maybe something regarding Google Drive. How about that? And that. You can also go to your team drives. Let me insert these first. Then we'll go back to that upper right and click on Add Files. You can do your team drives if you have access to those. And you're shared with me, so anything that anybody else has created and given you access to. So you can quickly add things to this workspace. So let's get out of this. You'll now see that we have our workspace and a few files added. Click on Done. And now in the bottom left of our screen, we see we have our training class development. Now, this is going to give me that space where I can quickly find those things. And I like it just because of the fact some of these files may be buried in different structure levels of folders. So it takes you time to get to those if you haven't worked on them yesterday, shall we say. So you can create these little workspace boxes for yourself to access those quick. So I got my training class development one here. In the middle of my screen I could create an additional one, maybe another project or a show or something else that I'm working on. I can also go down to the bottom left and see there's hidden workspaces. So if I click on the arrow to the right side of my training class development, you'll see it will give me an option to rename this workspace, hide it, or remove it. If I want to hide it and put it aside for right now, I can do that. It will show up underneath there and then I can activate it again if needed. So depending on what your work is, do you need to activate, put things on hold, activate, that kind of thing, we can work with those different files quickly in that regard. So if you want to use any of the files that are up at the top, you can click on the three little dots and you'll see in the middle of the menu an option for add to workspace and then the different names of the workspaces that you've created or if you want you can create one on the fly you can also go to the my drive view or your team drive view and let's say we're currently looking at things and you're like oh you know what I should be adding this form to that you can also right click on a file and in the middle of our menu you'll see that same option pop up of add to or create new. So that is what you're going to see with that priority work page. So you can constantly move things around, kind of tweak things as needed, add files at a later time on the fly. You don't have to necessarily add them all in that very beginning piece. So let's speak to another couple of things that were released in the launch summary of this new feature. So let me just go back to the priority piece. Now in this priority page, other than the AI that you're going to see at the top, it's also mentioned that you can also make this a home landing page, shall we say. Now I don't see it yet in my screen, but if you go to the upper right and in your gear icon, supposedly that will be there along this way with this release as well. So you should see a button or a box to select if you would like to make that priority page your default home landing page. Another couple of things that are mentioned in that summary of this release of this new feature is going to be the 
addition of being able to respond to comments and edits and suggested edits in files without actually going into the file itself and I don't have that functionality yet but that is supposedly coming with this along the way as well so I just wanted to let you know about those couple of things so that you can keep on the lookout for yourself so with that everyone I'd like to let you get back to work try using this priority work page it's actually pretty cool to be able to set up the different working spaces and I've already got several set up for mine with the different things that I'm doing in terms of training class development a couple of different clients that I'm working on with those different files kind of sorted that way so I'm giving it a shot so far so good I'm really pleased with this option so until we meet again, another day, another time, another update, which is coming soon. I've got a couple of more that Google has just released this week, and I will be in touch with you on those. So in other words, this is Gary the Google Guy signing off.